David Long last updated 1234011120017. Getty Images Cameron Waters and Richie Stanaway were a winning combination in the Endurance Cup this year. Motorsport Cameron Waters is expecting a bright supercar's future for Kiwi Richie Stanaway after their joint success in the endurance rounds of the series. Stanaway was Waters' co-driver at Sandown, Bathurst and the Gold Coast and although Waters is back to driving solo in his Bottolo Racing Ford Falcon this weekend at Pukekohe, he reflects favorably on his time with Stanaway. We got on really well, Waters said. He's got a similar mentality to how he goes about racing as I do, he's pretty cruisy. Read more cool Thard revved for Pukeko ESVG resigns with Red Bull just being admired is not enough for Richie Stanaway we got along straight off the bat and it was just easy, because he's a similar size to me so we did and he need inserts and the driver transfer stuff was easy. He drove awesomely, so that made my job easier in the three endurance rounds. He did a mega job and I think he's in a good spot come next year. Together, they won Sandown, led for a good part of Bathurst and finished second in Saturday's race at the Gold Coast and it has moved Waters up to eighth in the championship. Their results could have been better, but for a risky overtaking maneuver carried out by Stanaway the Gold Coast on his last lap in the car, before handing it over to Waters. Stanaway lunged down the inside at one of the corners, collided with another car and caused damage to the Ford Falcon. Waters was waiting in his garage to jump into car number 6 when the incident happened and he admitted it was tough to watch. I probably cringed a bit, he said. But I knew what had done it every other round and he put the car into contention a few times for me. I had a fair bit of faith and trust in him and to be honest, that move on Sunday WASNT really his fault, he got turned into pretty hard and that's what damaged the car. He WASNT out of control, he was a bit dirty on himself about how he finished but it's okay, we had some good results, and finished third in the Enduro Cup. There were plans for Stanaway to drive in one of the Lucas Dumbrell Motorsport cars this weekend, replacing 17-year-old Alex Rulo, who has been axed from the team. Rulo has had an abysmal season, only once finishing inside the top 20 and the team announced this week that they have parted ways. It would have been a great publicity move to get Stanaway in the car for Pukekohe, but it's understood that won't now happen. However, an announcement is expected soon that Stanaway will drive full-time for ProDrive Racing Australia next season, with the team knowing that he and Waters have bright futures ahead of them. Add feedback Waters has had 12 top 10 finishes this year. He only achieved that feat five times in the whole of the 2016 season. By ProDrive Racing Australia's high standards, it's not been a great year for the team, but they've shown that the big-budget outfit is heading in the right direction. We went to a slump after 2015 and last year was pretty bad for us as a team. Waters said, but in saying that, it helped us build for this year and we have been a bit behind the eight ball because of the 2016 form. This year, HASNT been as good as we hoped, but it's obviously a lot better than 2016 which is the main thing, so we are improving and there's lots in the pipeline. As a driver it's nice because you know you're on the march forward and we're getting there. As for the 23-year-old Waters, he feels he's a better driver now than he was at Pukekohe last year, when he finished 12th, 17th, 20th and 17th in the four races. I've definitely improved, I'm a bit more consistent and I'm more comfortable in the car, he said. With tuning it, if it's a little bit off, I can manage to find that pace quickly. So 12 months later there's been a fair bit of improvement and I've managed to win a race and get a podium now stuff.